All right, guys, welcome back. TSLA, let's have a look at the stock today. So far down almost like 12%. So sitting right at its 52 week low, which is 108.30. So that's where it's sitting, that's where it's trading. If we crack this level today and we don't attempt to close above this level, uh, I'm gonna be watching this stock basically to the downside. So as you, if you can, uh, let's take a look at the daily chart. If you take a look at the daily chart, after this relief bounce, like look, we gave it all back. So basically a lot of people who are trading it right here, right now, uh, even people who tried to buy calls here in a panic mode, maybe they even close it out. But you get the, you get the point. Uh, the biggest headline in the morning was their delivery numbers. They make they missed it pretty big time. And um, from here, what support level I'm watching basically. Volume is still high. Even uh, on 31st of December, we had 155 million volume, which is above average for TSLA. So if we go back to 2020, when they um, announced in summer, I, re I remember it just like yesterday basically. So when they uh, announced five to one split, and then I think Apple announced the split. A lot of names, did, uh, big, big names were, um, announced the split, and we had a pretty big rally, including Tesla, um, into September. So, and before that rally, Tesla was basically sitting at 91 as a support. So basically below 108.30, um, psychological level would be $100, but I'm watching 91 as a support. So, and also so far 108.30, that's what I'm watching as a support in the morning when as soon as market opened, I mean, Tesla was the weakest stock, everything was gapping up. Right now, overall market pulled back as well, but uh, biggest loser is Tesla so far. If you look at the heat map, uh, and then Apple as well, Apple guided, um, lower with their uh, iPad and all that good their their products a bunch of their products sales pretty much uh, but back to TSLA in the morning right off the bat um, I noticed um, 110 TSLA puts they came in as soon as the market opened and look at the volume as well so I know it's not significant compared to its total volume today like almost 800,000 calls uh, being traded to the upside, 800 calls to the down, uh, 800,000 puts. But again, those are very institutional trades. I mean, they're set, they're all kinds of trades. But one thing stood out when people come um, into very short term, ultra short term puts, uh, that usually means directional naked plays. So 110 is already in the money right now. And you can see like as soon as it started pretty much moving sideways, volume didn't come in as much. But right now you can see from the morning, these puts are almost 100% up and I'm not trading it again. I'm not in a position uh, long or short TSLA, but it's looking like it can go all the way to that $90 level um, at some point because January historically is pretty uh, volatile and uh, just by looking at the heat map and overall, um, yeah, healthcare is pulling back, energy, consumer staples, tech, chip makers. Tesla is the biggest loser to start the year so far. Again, market is still open, we still have time, but so far it's the biggest loser uh, in the market. Um, so that those are the levels I'm watching to the downside basically. To the upside, well, 123 these two days of um, tw uh, December 29 20 uh, and 30s these are the levels would be uh, to take out for Tesla but it looks like uh, selling pressure is back especially it's right back at the lows even if it tries to bounce today I would watch basically purple line volume weighted average price as a resistance for TSLA so thanks for watching see you in the next update take care peace